In today's fancy made DIY tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to create a photo album with the covers as records. These are mini records, they're the 45s of original record and these make for great gifts for your friends, family or significant other this Valentine's Day. For this tutorial, you need the following materials. First, you're going to be needing two records. These are 45s and these are smaller versions of an actual record. I got these at my local record man shop. I would ask um, to see if they have any that are more for decor purposes. I asked that um, to my record man and he gave me each of these for a dollar because some higher end actual significant records can cost anywhere from six dollars and up. So just ask them if they have any singles laying around that they might sell um, to you for cheap. I also purchased this photo album from Michaels. It's in the scrapbooking section. The reason I chose this one is because the record is going to cover a good portion of it. So make sure that whatever uh, photo album you purchase uh, fits along with your record um, according to size. And the next thing you need, of course, is a bunch of pictures. I had my images printed at Target. Um, you can upload them online and just pick them up at your local Target location. And the very last thing you will be needing is a hot glue gun and a few glue sticks. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your hot glue gun is nice and warm. Now you can do this or uh, before or after. But you can choose to mount the records onto your photo album first or you can go ahead and fill up your photo album with your images um, already which I already did. I'm going to be giving this to uh, one of my best friends Kelly as a Valentine's Day gift so I already filled up the album with our images and this one in particular from Michaels um, it was $3.99 and this one holds 36 images and it's the uh, recollections brand. I'll go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see that. Okay, so this is super, 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 super easy. So pick the record that you want to go on the front. I'm going to go ahead and choose, um, I'm going to go with this white one here for the front. And all you're going to be doing is putting a ton of glue here and squishing it down. That's gonna be about it. That's the easiest way to describe it. So I'm gonna put the glue directly onto the photo album and don't be scared. So I squished my record down on my glue. See it's nice and secure. Now I'm going to flip it over. Make sure you remove any other stickers that are on there. Then I'm going to add a ton more glue to the back part. And then I'm going to be setting over the back piece. Make sure that the two uh, records are aligned. You can just go ahead and use your fingertips. Make sure you push down. Okay guys, so now that the back is completely glued on as well as the front, now I forgot to include this in the um, materials but you're going to need some pliers or cutters of some sort. The reason for that is we're going to have to unfortunately trim the back side of the record otherwise you can't, you can't open it. But if you want to leave it like this and have um, your best friend or significant other look through the pictures like that you can it's completely up to you but in order for this to actually be functional and for it to work you're going to have to trim along the line right there in order for it to open and close so I have some wire cutters that I use for jewelry and it should work so just clip it very carefully and as you can see your record will just pretty much break So as you can see, um, I completely trimmed it at the ends and it's a little bit sharp. So you can take a regular nail file and kind of sand it down so it's not as um, sharp on there. It doesn't have to be perfect since this is going to be the back. So you can just give it out like this. 
but if you're worried about how it looks, uh, what you can do is I have this black duct tape. I already pre-cut it to fit this size. Um, you can just set it over to cover the edges so um, you don't hurt your fingers at all. So I'm setting it over there and then I'm going to trim it on the inside. And you can find this black tape at Michael's and a lot of other stores. So then I'll just tape it in like this. And that way it looks a lot cleaner from the back and there's no edges and nobody gets hurt from that. And aside from that, then your photo album is completely done. As you can see, I can, it's functional and I can open it. And that's it for this tutorial and don't forget to head over to fancymate.com for even more DIY ideas.